Asus ROG Astro RTX 1590 catches fire after power stage failure. GPU Z brings support for Radeon RX 9070 series. Official transistor count for Navi 48 has leaked out. And lastly, Nvidia has messed up regarding RTX 5070 Ti ROP counts. Okay, so firstly we have a Reddit post here from r slash Nvidia and we have a user reporting that my 5090 Astral caught on fire. And as you can see, this is the image that has been provided. As you can see, it has a barn marks as we can clearly tell. And there are more barn marks right over here. So yeah, this is quite interesting. A 5090 Astral from Asus has burned out. But is this actually based on the melting issue or something else? Because according to the pictures, we can clearly tell that the connector here hasn't melted. So it's not an issue with the melting problem or the cable, but rather something else. So one of the mod replied with not adding 250 series 2L VHPWR mega thread. This looks to be a blown power phases and not melting power connector. I provided additional photo of the cable, which as you can see right over here, the cable looks completely fine because it hasn't burned yet. In addition to GPU connector photo in the post, both looks pristine, which is clearly we can tell it is completely fine. And again, we have Gamers Nexus reporting this as messaging you would buy the board and GPU from you if you want to just take the cash and buy something else or skip the RMA process. So again, we'll be seeing more investigation coming from Gamers Nexus. My boy is always quick. Next up, we have an update from the GPU-C. Basically, tech power of GPU-C version 2.63.0 has been updated here. And as you can see, we have some support, which is the added support for NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5070 Ti and, of course, AMD Radeon RX 9070 XC 9070 and RX 7650 GRE. So it is very much clear 9070 XT will be releasing very soon because we are at the end of February. So we will be seeing the launch of the RX 9070 series and already we have a support for the GPU-Z. And we can already see that RX 9070 XT and 9070 have gained support here. So yeah, that's quite interesting there. Next up, we have an interesting information, a rumor from HXL reporting a link here from Baidu. And basically the rumor is about a Navi 48 350 millimeter square. So the die size should be 350 millimeter square. That's the rumor. So this is the particular information we're looking at. Navi 48 or 9070 XT core area which should be 350 millimeter squares which is of course inferior to 5070 Ti and 4080. So that's quite interesting. Because when you look at the GPU sizes here, Navi 31, Navi 32 and Navi 48, the size has decreased by a lot. So that's quite a, a huge decrease there. 350 millimeter square, which is close to Navi 32 though, but it is also less than GB203, which is a black ball, 5070 Ti or 5080, you could say. 378 versus 350. So 5070 Ti is bigger than Navi 48 or RX 9070 XT. And according to AMD, we already know that AMD RDNA 4 will be coming with 53.9 billion transistors. So they are putting this much amount of transistor inside 350 millimeters square. So that's quite a decent progress there. Because if you look into 5080 or 5070 Ti, we have 45.6 billion transistors fitting in 378 millimeters square. So obviously the die size is bigger, but we are, we are also getting more transistors in Navi 48. So that's quite interesting there. I guess this will somehow translate to better performance, but who knows? You can't really tell always that having more transistor means more performance. So we will see what happens, but probably it will be performing better because this is the only way 9070 XT can sell and perform well in the market. And next up, we have a serious information coming from NVIDIA about the RTX 5070 Ti. Well, basically not coming from NVIDIA because I'm pretty sure NVIDIA is aware because they have made a huge mess up. Because when you look into this, this particular user at Garoski IT has provided this particular information. First, RTX 5070 Ti spotted with defect and missing ROP. So when you look into this particular information, as you can see, this is the 96 ROP slash 280 TMUs coming with the 5070 Ti. But when you look into this particular one, which is another version of the RTX 5070 Ti, it's coming with 88 ROP. So less than the rated or the expected ROPs that should be coming, which is 
basically based on the restoration performance so the ROPs are missing that basically works for the restoration performance right so having lower ROPs meaning that you should have lower restoration performance that's that's clearly bad in the r slash nvidia thread we have another user reporting the same thing as you can see right over here 88 ROPs so yeah that that should that, that shouldn't be happening clearly in computer base one particular user reported this for particular information the ROPs are responsible for the rasterizer's performance which is exactly what I'm saying so it's best to take a benchmark that attaches importance to it the first thing I would do was take time spy and steel nomad and then compare it to the reference values which is the 96 ROPs value at Wolfgang has expanded the days of all 3d mark benchmarks by the RTX 5070 Ti so we have the benchmarks now and I got into computer base as you can see this is really bad because ROP defect cost up to 11% in 3D Mark. Only in 3D Mark, we're losing 11% of performance. That is crazy. Just from 96 to 88 ROPs. How are we missing those? So we have the benchmarks right over here from 3D Mark. And as you can see, 96 versus 88, we have around 12% performance deficit here, which is crazy. That is crazy to tell that you're, you're getting an RTX 5070 Ti with missing ROPs that cost you around 11% or 12% up to 12% we should say performance this is bad clearly bad and I don't know how this is happening how are they missing ROPs that should be in the core architectural issue right that it should be the same in all the GPUs that you make but now you're losing ROPs are how are they like how are they getting missing are they dying inside the die or I don't know what's going on but this is something should be looked into very much in steel nomad however we're losing not much of a performance here only three percent so even then it shouldn't be like that right it should be similar but then again based on the silicon lottery it can be different no problem with that but the rasterization performance is getting tanked by 11 percent to 12 percent which is not something that you should be expecting in speedway test we're looking at our around nine percent performance decrease here this is really bad like clearly and we thought nvidia messed up in pricing now we're looking at their best up in naming the gpu itself because now you have two versions of rtx 5070 ti's which are not official by the way because rop should be same around all the rtx 5070 ti's so yeah let's see what nvidia has to offer here